Doc here with a coaching section involving frequencies, wavelengths, and harmonics to see if we can prepare ourselves for some sneaky questions. So I'm going to go to the G on our PDF files and I'm going to look for this nice table that has all of the wavelengths and the frequencies and we're going to see if we can get prepared for tough questions on the exam involving information from this table. Now what you should memorize here is the rule for getting all the frequencies and it's a very easy rule. The nth case is n times the first case. The first case is f so the nth case could be 4 then n is 4 so 4 times f is 4f. And for the wavelengths, you memorize the rule. I start with 2L for the first case, and then if I want the fourth case, I divide by 4. If I want the fifth case, I divide by 5. All right. And you should understand these intervals also, but I'm going to focus here on the tricky questions that we can get involving wavelengths and frequencies. All right, well, let's think of a C-level question. What would be an e a fairly easy question to give? All right, here it is. Say that the frequency for the fundamental, the first one, and remember the fundamental is the first one, know that definition, is 100 hertz. What is the frequency of the fifth harmonic? The answer would be 5 times 100. Also know your definitions that this fifth harmonic is the fourth overtone. Remember the first tone over the fundamental is 2, the third, the third harmonic is the second overtone, they're off by 1. Alright, well how about a question that's a little bit harder. Well, we might say the fifth harmonic has a frequency of 500 hertz. What is the first one? You kind of have to go backwards. It's a little tricky. So you would divide 500 by 5 and get 100. Now suppose we want to really get sneaky. We might say the third harmonic is 300 hertz. What is the fifth one? Well, here's the trick, and this is a harder question. This is probably an A question. If you have 300 hertz, you go to the first one, divide by 3, get the 100, and then jump up to this one, 500. You can do it faster with ratios, but I don't advise that. I advise always to reference to the first one. Uh, let's look at one where the numbers might be a little sneaky. Uh, let's say that the third harmonic has frequency 24 hertz. If that's 24 hertz, what is the fifth one? Well, if you divide by 3, you'll get 8 hertz, the first one, and then 8 times 5, 40 hertz. That's the way to go. Always go to the first one, no matter which one you're given, and then come up. So that's doing a hard problem, an A problem, in a systematic way. What about the wavelengths? Well, you can do the same thing. You could uh, say, well, if the length of the string is 10 meters. What is the wavelength for the fourth harmonic? Well, if the length of the string is 10 meters, then 2 times 10 is 20. And for the fourth case, I divide by 4, and I get 5. 5 meters. Now, we could give the question backwards. We give you the fourth case is 5 meters. How we get the first one? See, so try to do these in both directions. Make up numbers uh, like I did here, see, and then you start to get into the head of the teacher. You're, you're like the teacher now. You're making the exam. You're trying to figure out ways that you could be fooled, just like someone, say, in sports, tries to guess what the opponent's going to do. Say, so in this case, well, I'm really your friend. I'm not your opponent. I'm your coach, but you know what I mean. You're trying to psych out, you know, the, the questions before you walk into the exam. So you can make up one, say, for the fifth harmonic. Say the fifth harmonic is uh, 10 centimeters. What would be the second harmonic, whoa, well see what I would do here if that's 10 centimeters, I would reference that to the first one again. So if this is 10 centimeters for this one here, that means 2L has to be 50. And that means L has to be 25. 
you see. So that means I have 2 wells, 50, divided by 2, 25. See, I can get it. So write these things down with paper and pencil. Take your time. Uh, it's good to perhaps watch this video with paper and pencil in hand and writing these things down as we talk. And I have covered here some some tricky things. Now, here is a, another trick, too. I've had students in my office hours where I've I've tried to uh, coach them with these with these tricks and avoid traps and I might ask a question where I give the fifth harmonic say is 10 centimeters and I want to know what the uh, second harmonic is and what they do is they give me here a lower value now that can't be remember the wavelength for the fundamental is the longest wavelength these wavelengths get shorter and shorter so they use this formula accidentally, you know, and they got confused, but you can check yourself. You know that the frequencies get higher and higher in pitch as you go up in harmonics, and the reverse happens to the wavelength. So always check your answer with common sense that if you were given the fifth wavelength and asked to find one that's lower, it better be a bigger number.